next, it's an interim heavyweight title fight between Bob Sapp and former Pride champion, the Brazilian, Antonio Minotaro Nogueira. Minotaro Nogueira, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Nogueira is an elite-level competitor, Mike. He has held titles both here and in Pride. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and he has a granite chin. This is a man who never stops coming, and he's been in there with the top heavyweights on the planet. Minotaro Nogueira, fired up and ready to go. Making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. Bob Sapp is a massive, powerful fighter. He's known for charging in and unloading, and he obviously has some big knockout power. But it's tough to move all that muscle around, and he has some trouble when he's fighting someone who can weather his early storm. Bob Sapp, fired up, and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Tale of the Tick is brought to you by Dodge. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro Nogueira. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, Bob the Beast Sam. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Lavigne. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready for round one. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Minotaro Nogueira. Bob Sapp. And here we Fight. go. Striking-wise, Nogueira's striking is actually very underrated because we've seen him utilize his boxing and kickboxing skills, Muay Thai skills before, and his brother is also an outstanding striker. Yes, he's got very solid boxing and uh, a very durable chin as well. Right back up to his feet. He's got side control. Into half guard. And back to full guard. Looking for an Omoplata, Mike. Great submission defense. Oh, he switches to an arm bar. Oh, he's got it locked in, Mike. Oh, look at that. It's pretty deep. Trying to push up with those hips, Joe. It is all over. Submission victory by arm bar. Very nice arm bar. We have a new UFC heavyweight champion. You know, the real top of the food chain Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighters, and you've talked about it before, Joe, are the ones who are able to transition from submission to submission attempt. Yeah, and he does that very well here. Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 
38 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an armbar. And now, the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro. Antonio Minotaro Noguera is the new UFC heavyweight champion.